what are the transformational results? What's the impact that we can plan on seeing, the impact it has on us, our family, our team that we're leading when we're intentional about leading ourselves well? So let me answer that this way. Um, so when we think about, like, when we start doing all this stuff, let's just think we get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. Let's do 5.30 because we're tough. Get up at 5.30, and then we go down and make coffee, and you take four and a half minutes while the coffee's brewing to – have a small little journal that you got on the counter and you just write, here's five things I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for this. I'm grateful. And I'm going to think about it. I'm grateful for my son. I'm grateful for my wife. I'm grateful for my job where I get to go help people today. I get to make somebody's day a little bit less crappy because I'm in the world, right? I'm going to write that down. And by the time that's done, I'm going to grab my coffee. And I'm going to head down to my quasi crummy gym that I've cobbled together off Craigslist finds. It's like, ooh, home gym. Dude, it's all off Craigslist, man. It's not as great down there, but I got enough kettlebells and enough things that I can get through 35 minutes or 45 minutes of a really hard workout. And now what are we at? That's 45. Now we're at 620, and I'm back upstairs, and my kids are starting to wake up, and I can have some really intentional hugs and some laughter, and I can help make breakfast, and my wife's going to come in. I can make sure her coffee's made for her, right? So we're talking like an hour. This isn't hard, like, oh, this feels like so much stuff. It's just a rhythm of a day. And then I'm going to take a freezing cold shower. I'm going to get in, I'm going to get out, and I'm going to get on to work, right? I'm going to listen to something positive and uplifting or a podcast or a great radio station or a hilarious CD or whatever, rock and roll CD, whatever. And so it's just a rhythm. you still a, listen to rhythm. CDs? Is that real? Dude, I don't have – listen, listen, I, I still have a CD player in my truck. I, or, I had to order – my favorite artist came out with a record the other day, and I had to order the CD from London. It was kind of embarrassing. You were the one guy. Yeah, it's like, oh, we got a CD order. Wow. So, yeah, that's me. But um, so when you do this stuff, why are we doing all this? So that I'm well at home. I'm well in my body. So that not if but when the chaos of business comes, when my when my – Local government shuts down my business. When a local competitor, as a national competitor, shows up and opens up a store across the street from me. When I lose my big client, when two of my best employees quit, when my best employee comes in and says, hey, I'm having a psychiatric break, I got to go to the hospital, or I'm, I've got an addiction issue. My body is in a place. My mind is in a place. My, my chaos is controlled in a way that now I can make clear-headed decisions. I cannot respond in chaotically to everything. I can be okay. That's why you don't owe debt in your business because one little, one little marker this way or this way and the whole thing falls over. If I don't owe anybody anything, I don't got to worry about it. I'd rather be small and not owe anybody anything than the illusion of big, And but I'm leveraged. I'm, my body will be screaming. We're not safe. We're not safe. We're one little bump away, right? And so that I can respond in it really the only word that comes to mind is peace. I may fire somebody. I may have to call 911, but I can do that in a, in a still state, right? My body is, is primed for these hard conversations, these hard decisions I got to make. So we think like, what does it even feel like? It feels like going to bed and falling asleep. No medicine. You know, you're, it's 9 o'clock and you're starting to fall asleep because your body's tired because you worked your butt off that day. It is going home and actually um, having sex with your spouse. We're talking about like we're having a crisis of intimacy in, in marriage relationships these days. Um, that you're not so distracted and so fried and so chaotic that the thought of intimacy becomes a chore, right? It becomes something you look forward to. Um, that you can be present with your kids and you're sitting through yet another violin concert and you want to stab yourself in the face, right? Like you can sit through it because I'm, I'm present here. I'm here, right? Not that business isn't crazy. It is. It's nuts. It's chaos. But I'm anchored and I'm still. That's why we do all this stuff. Yeah. That's why you lead yourself. And you talk about the idea of, you know, washing the boots off mm -hmm. at the end of the long day. And, and it can be hard to separate your business and your work from your personal life yeah. sometimes. What does that do to kind of have that hard boundary from this is my leadership life mm -hmm. at work, this is my leadership life at home? I think the principles apply both places. Um, it's like you don't have one checking account that you dump your business account into and your personal into. You have two checking accounts, right? So the principles of banking stay the same. The principles of how I spend my money and how I do debt are the same, but I got them in two separate accounts. And so my troubles at work, I got a 30 minute drive home. And so in my head, I got 30 minutes to talk to a friend, to catch up, to call somebody and be like, what is happening? To, to listen and sing my, as loud as I can and cycle some of that stuff through. 
sometimes to pull off and go for a run and go for a hike or to pull off and go to a coffee shop or go grab a drink with George. We go do something so that when I do show up at home, even if it's 30 minutes later, I can show up fully present, right? And then those same principles of, of leadership are going to start over when I'm at home. I'm going to be present like I am with my employees. I'm going to listen like I do with my employees. I'm going to be a person of character integrity like I am with my employees. I'm just going to do it with my kids and with my wife and with our friends, right? The same principles apply. 